Now that the bike's finished up, we're kind of going into phase two, and phase two is rider testing. It's kind of getting the rider familiar with it. Being a former racer, I could only, <laughs> only imagine that it's gonna be difficult, uh, fun, but, uh, but difficult. I think some of the unknowns that we're trying to figure out would be the geometry that we have set up. How is it gonna work? How is it gonna react? Feels fine going down the road, but it's a different story when you're on the track and you're under hard braking or hard acceleration. Well, usually before the test even happens, we'll have kind of an outline of what we want to start with and look for. The first test is going to be a lot of the rider just getting used to what the bike is because it's so different from what he's raced before. So Hayden Gillum will be riding a motorcycle. Suited up, he's 200 pounds, six foot. He's not exactly your small, tight, little packaged guy. But I think that may fall actually to our advantage in this situation. When you take and you put a small 100 pound guy on a 800 pound motorcycle, it's gonna be kind of a, a, a little bit of a toss up on how they could handle, move around. So our racer is Tony Salima, and uh, he's been racing strictly Harley Davidson's now for the past three or four years. The first thing we did on test day was basically get Tony on the bike, comfortable with it, and do, do a few hot laps, come back, and bring back any feedback that, that uh, was necessary. For us as a shop, I think our goal is in test sessions, it's not to ride the motorcycle as hard as you can. It's to get the bike kind of dialed in because the rider needs to feel 100% comfortable. And as Hayden becomes more comfortable on the motorcycle, he will then be able to go faster and faster. I believe the biggest challenge the rider is probably gonna have or all the riders are gonna have is you have this massive gas tank that you have to fill up with all this gas. And as you slosh around and make these turns, you have that moving ballast that's gonna probably wanna jerk the bike from side to side. If I was a rider, that would probably be your, your most critical part is how the bike is gonna wanna, wanna respond when you're trying to make those turns at high rates of speed. Oh man, that bike is amazing, dude. For it being a bagger, the, si the size of that bike, it really goes around that racetrack like it's not a big old beast of a motorcycle. I'm getting faster lap times on this thing, I think, than I did on my other bikes. Man, I was just having fun out there, honestly. Just sliding a big 600 pound Harley around the track is, uh, I don't think you can really not have fun doing that, so. It was a blast, learned a, learned a good little bit, figured out kind of how to ride the bike. And yeah, it was just, it was a blast. Speed Merchant, uh, Brandon, and these guys, they keep uh, adjusting the suspension for me. We're getting better and better and better, and it's just getting more comfortable, more comfortable. And that's the goal, that's what we're out here doing. We're out here practicing, and so we can put on a good show for everybody out there at uh, the Kumaseka. I think today was a pretty good day. He's uh, he's leaning over a lot more. Uh, we stiffened up front and rear suspension, and it seems to be getting him uh, some faster lap times right now. Test day here is done. Bike's looking pretty good. I'm feeling good. I think we've dotted our I's and crossed our T's. Where I think we're we're good to go. Our ultimate goal is to go out there, ride the bike as hard as it can be ridden. Everyone's gonna have the same limitations. Whatever happens, I'm gonna be riding home with a smile on my face. Next stop, Unisaka.